So Apple has just released their brand new operating system called Sierra. So we are here today to test the compatibility with Pro Tools. Welcome back everybody, this is Dave from Apple Unlimited. And uh, as always, whenever Apple releases a new operating system, you never want to update your main workstation until Avid gives you the green light. And as of right now, Avid has not given us the green light. Um, however, compared to El Capitan, uh, Sierra has much fewer problems already. Uh, so my main workstation downstairs is still on Yosemite, just to be safe. Uh, but today we're going to test Pro Tools on Sierra. Uh, see how it operates. I know that already Sierra has fixed some of the graphical issues in Pro Tools. Uh, but let's go ahead and try it out. Alright, the moment we've all been waiting for, this is Pro Tools 12.5.2. This is the most current version with Sierra. Later on September of 2016, later on this month, they're going to release the new update for Pro Tools, which is 12.6, and the new update, according to Avid, is also not compatible with Sierra. Completely. Oh, I lied. This is 12.5.1. I apologize. <laughs> so far, it seems to be opening. Again, I am on my Mac Mini upstairs, and this one is terribly slow. Too slow to use in real life. But that's why we're testing it to see if it does work. And it's opening. I had a recent project. Let's open that. Okay, it seems to be opening just fine. That is good news right there. Okay. Let's see if it works. Looks like it works to me. Uh, I know that Avid doesn't uh, prove it if it's not 100%. Um, so I would say this one, just from playing with it, is at least 80% debugged. So that is cool. That's good news. I haven't found any issues with it yet. Uh, Sierra is supposed to fix some of the graphical issues, mainly the meters. So I'm trying to find something that will not work, and so far everything works just fine. Let's try Ozone. I do also know that uh, the new version of Melodyne has given everybody the green light. Uh, Native Instruments has given everybody the green light also. Uh, unfortunately, the Universal Audio, the Apollo and the Twin Duo and everything, all those are not yet compatible with Sierra, so keep that in mind. If you're thinking about updating, uh, Ozone has opened up. Okay, so I've gone through everything, and uh, to me, Ozone 6 works just fine. I can't find anything not working. So this is great news for all my audio friends, all my audio editors, audio engineers. Um, so far, to me, Sierra seems to be a much better much more stable release than El Crapitan. Uh, so that's good news. So as always, do not update your main workstation just yet. I would give it at least one or two months for everyone to kind of smooth out the bugs, to catch up on everything. Um, but 
I think it shouldn't take that long because, like I said, I can't find anything wrong with anything. <laughs> so here we are once again testing Final Cut Pro with Sierra. This is Final Cut version 10.2.3. Well, opening it up, seeing if it works. Okay, well, as far as I could tell, Final Cut Pro works just fine. Uh, this Mac Mini is way too slow to actually sit here and wait for it to transcode. Um, but I would say, from what I've found, Final Cut Pro works perfect with 10.2.3 uh, and Sierra. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Happy editing, and I look forward to seeing you soon. This is Dave from Apple Unlimited.